the involvement of Indian soldiers in the Great War. Let's move on to the weather. Alexis is here tonight. It's been quite a nice day, although I got caught in a shower today. Yes, yes. it was a brief one. Yeah. Very yeah. unexpected showers. The weather models didn't predict them, unfortunately. Uh -huh. So, yes, we do have some weather pictures. Dave Brenchley took this silhouette of a sailor in Lymington. Barry Webb photographed uh, the sunrise over a field in Stubbington. And there's Millie the cat. Belongs to Heather Brooks and, uh, well, snoozing in the sunshine, clearly, in Bracklesham today. So, yes, some of us had some sunshine today. The odd shower this morning, but it did dry up through the course of the afternoon. Now, overnight tonight, we'll have clear skies at first and through the early hours of the morning, increasing cloud for some. Where it's thick enough, there is the chance we could have the odd light shower here and there. But a lot of dry weather with a few clear spells, but a very mild night to come, with temperatures only dropping to around 13 to 15 Celsius. Now, tomorrow morning, it will be a mainly dry start. We're expecting some sunny spells during the morning, but through the afternoon, afternoon the cloud will thicken in places bringing about a few showers from the southwest now these showers will be very much hit and miss some areas could stay dry altogether but there is the risk of a few thunderstorms where the showers are heaviest because the air tomorrow will be quite humid and that will trigger the thunderstorms in amongst the sunny spells with temperatures reaching high of 19 to 20 celsius very similar to today's temperatures but the humidity would be higher tomorrow night the showers will gradually ease through the early hours of thursday morning so a mainly dry but cloudy start to Thursday with temperatures tomorrow night very mild indeed 15 to 16 Celsius so quite an uncomfortable night for sleeping. Now we do have a cold front over us first thing on Thursday morning that's a dying weather feature and it will move its way eastwards during the course of the morning following it after a cloudy start to Thursday things will start to brighten up we'll see some sunny spells but still the risk of a few showers triggered by that sunshine during the afternoon. Through Friday an area of low pressure will start to swing in from the Atlantic and that may produce one or two showers as well. So this week, rain or showers at times, it will be unsettled for some, with some sunny spells to be had. But the good news is, as we look ahead to the weekend, Saturday starts on a cloudy note for some, but will brighten up with a with an area of high pressure starting to build in. And so for Sunday, fingers crossed at the moment, it's looking like a very decent day and warmer than all of the days this week. The risk of a thunderstorm tomorrow, a cloudy start for Thursday, showers Thursday and Friday. Sally. It is looking nice the weekend, yes. isn't it? Fingers crossed, as you say. Thanks, Alexis. Um, that's it from us. Uh, we're back here tomorrow, half past six, of course, as at least two of us are. He's jetting off to Holland. So we'll have a little <laughs> bit from uh, him tomorrow night as well, as he said. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.